What's up guys, Parker Talks is back. Yesterday during the Emmys, WandaVision released their new trailer coming out, so I thought this would be a perfect day to go over all the uh, Marvel TV shows that are coming out and which ones I'm looking most forward to, so let's get started. I'm going to do my top five favorite shows that are coming out really soon, and compared with these shows, compared to the Marvel shows that have already been issued, these are actually going to relate to the story, so I'm really excited to watch these shows. I haven't watched any of the other shows because they haven't, they don't, have any relevance to the storyline, but these shows that they announced last year that are going to come out, um, these are all going to relate to the story, so these are all going to be very interesting. So there are three that I'm not going to go into depth talking about, but just want to quickly mention. Uh, Moon Knight, know nothing about it. It's going to release in 2022. Uh, Miss Marvel is also going to release in 2022. I don't think this uh, is with Captain Marvel. I think this is some other character. It might be uh, the character in this new Avengers game mode that it's She's basically like Elastigirl from The Incredibles or something. I don't know much about her, and I'm just assuming that's who Miss Marvel is. And another one is She-Hulk. They haven't even announced. That's probably going to be 2023. I know Jennifer Walters is uh, She-Hulk. That's the character, uh, and she's like an attorney. That's all I know about that. Uh, maybe Bruce Banner, like the character. Um, actor Mark Ruffalo might be in that. They have said about that. Um, but we don't really know much about these three films. So coming in at number five, I'm going to go with WandaVision, even though we've already seen the trailer. This is set to release in December of this month. Now, I'm excited for all of these uh, shows coming out, especially because they all correlate. Uh, Kevin Feige, who is with Marvel, said they're going to correlate all these shows with the movies. Um, I am still really excited about this film. Just the things that I'm concerned about is that, spoilers ahead, is that obviously Vision is dead. So this is going to take place in the past. Um, that's just something I'm worried about. Also, it's like a rom-com, so not not like I think it's going to be bad, but it's just a it's just very different compared to what you'd usually see in the MCU. Now, there's some things I'm really looking forward to in this film as we're going to see it kind of like correlate into the beginning of Doctor Strange: The Multiverse of Madness, which is a new movie coming out that Scarlet Witch is going to be in as well. And I'm also excited to see how you're going to see the relationship between Scarlet Witch and Vision as we didn't really see that in between Civil War and Infinity War. So when we're starting Infinity War and they're together, you're like, oh, they're together. I wonder why. So we're going to see that part. So I'm really uh, curious about that. And yeah, I think it's going to be a solid film, I guess, in, in the TV shows. Coming in at number four is What If, which is set to release in mid-2021. Now this is actually going to be an animated series, uh, TV show series on Disney Plus as well, and it's basically going to have all the characters, same actors are going to be voicing these characters in this animated film. You're just not going to have the, you know, three main actors um, that unfortunately pass away in Endgame. So other than that, you basically have everybody in there, which is pretty cool, and it's just basically a TV sh show series on what if something had been different in these, uh, in these sequences of, of events in the whole MCU. I know it's been confirmed that the first uh, one they are going to play in this is it, what if Peggy Carter had taken the Super Soldier Serum instead of Captain America. Another one is what if Loki could wheel Mjolnir instead of Thor. So stuff like that. I think it's going to be really cool to see that. And you always like to ask those what if questions. So I think this will be a solid TV series as well. Coming in at number three is Loki, which is set to release in early 2021. Now, you're probably asking yourself, Loki, isn't he dead? Well, if you think back in Avengers Endgame, when the Avengers go back in the Battle of New York, set in 2012, uh, Loki, from that time in 2012, catches the Tesseract and just vanishes out of nowhere in space. So it's going to be based off of that character, Loki, that you, that it's not going to experience Thor the Dark World, Thor Ragnarok, or uh, Avengers Infinity War. So it's going to be really interesting to see how uh, Loki is going to go throughout as this basically other Loki that we have. Uh, I think it's going to be really funny. Um, obviously Loki is a great character, probably one of my favorite villains in the NCU. He's also, you know, an anti-hero as well. And I think as an anti-hero, you make a great story, a great TV show series in that as well. So that's why it's coming in at number three. 
Coming in at number two, we have Hawkeye, which is set to release in 2022. Now, of all the characters in the MCU, I think Hawkeye is one of the most underrated characters, meaning like nobody really talks about Hawkeye just compared to all these people. And I honestly thought he should have gotten a movie. I'm glad Black Widow's going to get a movie. Uh, I thought Hawkeye should get one as well, but he's going to give a, get a TV show series, which is good enough for me. Uh, this is going to take place after Endgame, and it's going to take like... Most of these events in this TV show series that we know of so far is going to be about him training his daughter um, after Endgame. Maybe we'll see some of the like trauma or just some of the bad moments in Hawkeye's life, especially with Black Widow and what occurred at the at the Soul Tower in Avengers Endgame. Uh, I, th I think we're going to see some of that in there as well. But you can have such a great TV show series with Hawkeye just shooting bows and arrows, uh, all that. And you like something like that. It could be a spy show, something like that too. Um, a show where you don't have some su super strong character, which is not Hawkeye. That's where you can get a good show, I think, in the MCU. But easily coming in at number one for me is The Falcon and the Winter Soldier, which was going to be released in 2020, but because of COVID, it's going to be released in early 2021 is what they're shooting for. So obviously, I'm excited for this uh, TV series as we have Anthony Mackie, who has been the side character all this time, Falcon, one of the greatest side characters. He's finally going to take the role as the main character in this uh, TV series, as we also have Sebastian Stan as Bucky Barnes in this film. Now, obviously, the Falcon has the the Captain America shield now. We've already seen a little clip of, of this uh, TV series with him just uh, throwing this shield around, and that's all we've seen from this. It's definitely going to be some, like, spy-based TV show, which I'm really excited for, and I think the main villain's going to be based off something from Hydra, maybe, like, another type of Winter Soldier, something like that. We honestly don't know much about that, but I'm pretty certain it's going to be, like, spy-based film, and you have two great characters, which just make this TV show series much, much better compared to just some random uh, character, and it's just them. So I'm really excited about that, uh, and that's why it's coming in at number one. So thank you guys for watching my rankings for my TV show series that I'm really looking forward to, and I would love to see your comments down below on which ones that you're interested, if you are interested in the MCU, and I want to thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll catch you all later. See ya.